Oscar said that he was disputing the uh, decisions of uh, the referee that uh, Messi should uh, receive a second yellow card and the penalty was not a penalty and the referee did a, um, take a look at the VAR. What do you think about that? No, I don't have to give my opinion about Oscar said in the press conf. I respect his opinion. We have to go forward taking advantage of this uh, impulse that we have had three uh, victories in a row. Uh, despite of the res uh, of, of the uh, result today, three to one, did you uh, find mistakes? Of course, there are always mistakes. We have been working with this uh, group for 10 days only. And of course, we will have to continue improving. We faced a very difficult uh, opponent, very solid opponent. It, it was very demanding. We have improved a lot in the defense. In the set uh, plays, we have uh, made some mistakes. We haven't suffered in, in the game many uh, goal opportunities, but of course the team has to improve. It is important to explain the idea and it is key for them to win. When you win, you can work better and better. The atmosphere in the team is better. New uh, players uh, join the team. Jordi and Diego Gomez uh, played today. There is a lot to improve, of course. There is a lot to correct. But uh, we are happy about the performance. Hello. Coach Martini, can you tell us uh, uh, about your idea of uh, playing with uh, three uh, defenders? When uh, you face a team like Orlando, Pereira was uh, almost at the same height of the uh, ce central forward. We needed a third a defender in order to move the ball. And that third a defender could be the, a Busquet sometimes, could be a winger. And uh, with Dixon's quality, he could be this uh, third central back and he can uh, start at the transition with Andre, he, he can go deeper. Even though Orlando uh, closed one of the uh, w uh, wings and he they proposed three uh, against three that position of Dixon that is something that is being uh, thought when this kind of uh, things happen when the opponent uh, presses you with uh, two forwards hello coach congrats for the victory you said that the team has been only uh, has been working only for three, uh, 10 day, uh, days or so, but the this development of the team has been very fast. Two weeks ago, this team was very po poor. What is the cause of this development? Individualities, coaching staff, integration of the new players, especially those coming from Barcelona. What do you think as Tata Martino, why the team has uh, developed that? Uh, because Miami is a surprise. You have to take a look at the importance of the uh, players that have joined the team. That could be a good reason of the development of the team. They have been key in the team, but at the leadership, Robert Taylor, Joseph, for example, they are clear examples. When you see that there is a good will of uh, the new commerce, especially these ones with that 
quality with the will of the existing players and all aiming at the same go target and they don't think uh, they don't feel overwhelmed for uh, playing with uh, those big names next to them you can see the development of the team with the uh, near pass i don't want to be that hard because uh, there has been some injuries and other uh, incidences that have affected the team the team have lost uh, important players such as Gregory Mota. And I think we are on the right way. We are winning. And this is a very good starting point. We are more and more solid with the moves of the ball. Uh, we have been very overwhelming in the offense. If we improve the defense and have seen some improvement there, but if we uh, guarantee the zero in our goal, we have a uh, great chances looking forward to uh, win the matches. Tata, congrats for the win. Speaking about the defense, how about the transition? Starting the balloon with a Serki and a Dixon like a cent, uh, third uh, central back and helping with the transition. Has that been uh, important? Something that uh, we haven't seen that before. We spoke about that in the locker room. If we have more ball possession, we can counter the strengths of the opponents. We don't have to need uh, we have to speed up when we need to do that, but not running up and down. You know, the best way to control the match is by having the ball. Yes, we have to be solid when we have to uh, go back and try to uh, stop uh, the passing lines, such as uh, Busquet intercepting a pass. He gave it to Leo and we scored the third uh, goal. So what I see is that uh, the team is more comfortable having the ball. We are able to control the match. And this is something that we have to do from the a very start. That's why the goalkeeper, the wingers, Dixon, midfield, uh, Busquets, at, at the third central back, and the central backs themselves, they are all involved. And that's because of the intellectual capacity of the players we have. And I'm speaking not only about the physical and technical capabilities, but, but also the reading, the interpretation of those players. Hello, coach. The team is relaxed on the field. And ever since you arrived, five or uh, eight goals of the team has been scored by Leo. Has he said anything uh, about that to you? Any comments that uh, you could share? No. Something that I said a couple of days ago, maybe after Cruz Azul's uh, victory, Uh, things that are uh, very difficult, that seem to be very difficult. He does that very easily, you know. We're speaking about a, a player that he used to score 40 goals a uh, season. So it makes sense for him to score five goals in three uh, matches. Can that be done by any player? Of course not. But we speak a lot about Leo. We try to find more and more adjectives for him. But you can say he's just the play, the best player in the world. So you can think that he's able to do that. And out of the five goals, he scored three with the right. The third one, he scored uh, with the right leg, with the right foot, and two other, he scored with uh, the right foot. 
has been doing that for 17, 18 years. And he said that he came here to win, to compete, to win things. It was a derby. The match was uh, hot at some point in time. So he's doing what he said he would do. Hello, coach. Uh, are you uh, uh, worried that, that the midfield could be harsh uh, for Leo and for Busquets looking forward? It is just like uh, playing against Barcelona and Real Madrid. You know, the opponents uh, are aggressive. If you play against a river or Boca in Argentina, the same thing happens depending on the match, depending on, on the opponent, but especially uh, uh, I'm going to, to play Jordi, I'm going to play Busquets, I'm going to play Messi, and this is an additional motivation. Yes, I expect much more from these matches. No doubt this is going to be the case, but I know how they compete. They have been competing at the highest level for 20 years. So there is no reason to believe that even when the uh, match is harsh and uh, difficult and physical, they won't be able to uh, play. Uh, Messi played uh, uh, the entire pl uh, match. Was that a decision made by you? He, Leo uh, always wants to play the entire game. We spoke about that uh, in the match versus Atlanta. He left the match uh, uh, 10, 15 minutes before the end. He felt that he was okay. He was running okay. He uh, finished the game okay. And the same goes for Busquet. The more they play, they will be feeling more comfortable and uh, with a better physical conditions to end up the match. Thank you so much.